This flower farm in Ethiopia has seen dramatic growth over the past five years, as the country established itself as one of the top 10 flower exporters in the world. Up to 90% of ET Highland Flora Farms exports go to the EU. But if a new regulation kicks in as planned on July 1st, the business could be at risk. Like the US, the EU legislation will require pre-arrival notification of all exports, meaning shipment data has to move quicker than the goods, which can only be achieved by electronic documentation. Like people, goods will need a biometric passport. The changes for a safer trading environment stem from the 9-11 attacks, when the United States decided to close its borders. The ripple effect has now reached enterprises like this flower farm near Addis Ababa in Ethiopia, whose owner is now concerned there's not enough time to meet the EU deadline. I'm worried for my export to EU because I am, they are going to implement something which I'm not aware of. Nor was this textile business or these coffee farmers, although they welcomed the idea of cutting red tape. If there is a way that this technology can help in bringing our costs down and also give documents to our buyers on time, there's no reason why we don't uh, accept it. Paperless trade is expected to break down barriers, allowing economies to develop faster. Speed and security will be enhanced. An exporter can save nearly four hours per consignment using the paper-free system. The impact of technology on trade and customs is, is enormous. The, we can reduce times for transit, we can increase trade thereby, we can then therefore um, and facilitate that trade in such a way that things are far more efficient and effective than they are today. Is it even realistic to, to meet this sort of deadline? I, I think it is impossible. The new system requires a bit of high, high tech technology, high caliber of human resource and even investment. Uh, because of that, uh, I feel uh, it will be a, a great challenge. However, technology can help. Income companies like Trade Facilitate, a digital solutions provider implementing paperless trade across all EU trading platforms in the form of an interface like this. The average international trade transaction um, involves 20 actors, has 40 different pieces of paper and the same data is rekeyed 60 times. Okay, now that's huge inefficiencies. The key data has been taken from the, the relevant documents, put into one electronic format, and it makes life very, very simple. O'Riordan acknowledges the awareness gap, mainly with the developing world and small and medium-sized businesses, the backbone of every economy, accounting for 98% of global transactions. He works with partners like Connect Ethiopia to raise awareness and assist in-country. This has been treated as a technical issue uh, between customs offices in different countries rather than a political issue. So you can take it that the SMEs in Ethiopia are in serious need of a grace period. In contrast, moving cross-continent, Senegal has been an early mover in electronic trade, developing it as early as 1995 when only Singapore was working on an IT trade platform. There is one area of uh, development, which is trade, uh, in which Senegal is performing, and not only performing as an African country, but performing uh, at uh, the global level. It is very important because it shows that when there is the will, the technology is available, and it's easy to face challenge. With the EU deadline looming large, Gainda 2000 hopes to roll out their system across other African countries soon. If help arrives in time to secure continued exports of Highland Flora Farm's nearly 20 million stems to Europe a year remains to be seen. Fact is, in the new world order, trade will become faster, cheaper, greener and more secure. Those economies who step up Okay, they will continue to attract foreign direct investment. They will continue to trade seamlessly okay, with the largest trading bloc in the world, the EU and the USA, who are really the prime drivers of, of this uh, paper free.